How's it going everyone, welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. I was given this Darth Maul coin bank about a year ago by someone who thought I could do something fun with it. I'm not sure how well it works, but it has been sitting on my shelf staring at me for too long. And I finally decided to do something with it. I started by opening up the bottom of the box, just had to remove a few screws to get inside. Also removed all of the batteries that this thing housed, and it was like a couple hundred. I don't know why I needed so many batteries. Once I had all of that out, it's time to open it up and see all the fun stuff on the inside. Initially, I had thought about just upgrading the lightsaber and then putting him all back together, returning him to his former glory. Then I remembered the former glory was a little uncomfortable to look at. His upper body would swing back and forth and his arms would wiggle up and down. It wasn't very graceful. It was actually less graceful than when he gets cut in half and tumbles down a big tube in the ground. So I decided to do away with all of the moving parts and just make him a static sculpture instead. I repurposed a lot of the wiring and saved all the rest of the electronics for future builds. I added back some batteries. This is how I'm going to be powering the whole thing. And once that was done, and everything was out of the base, it's time to move on to the customizations. I found this metal sheet at Hobby Lobby. It's the only place that I know that sells it, but it has this very imperial looking design on it. I traced a circle the same size as the hole on the base, and then I used some tin snips to cut that into an almost perfect circle. I then cut up a piece of acrylic this will sit underneath that piece of sheet metal, give it some support, and it will also allow light to pass through. Then cut out a piece of styrene the same size as the top of the base. I flipped it over, I traced out a circle, and I cut that out with an exacto knife. All you have to do is score it and it snaps out really easily. I also saved the little disc because I'm going to be using that later. I wanted to be able to turn this project on and off with this little toggle switch, so I used my Dremel to drill a hole through both the base and the styrene. I glued down the acrylic sheet and it was a little too clear, so I took it outside with some matte varnish and gave it a few coats. When that was all done, it was nice and frosty. I then gave the sheet of metal and the styrene a coat of black paint. Once I had glued those on, it was time to move on to the electronics. I connected some wires to the terminals on the battery housing, as well as to the switch. And to be lighting this thing, I'm going to be using this LED tape. You wire up the positive and the negative of whichever color you want it to be. In this case, it was red. I peeled off the backing and I stuck that around the inside of the box. Then connected everything to the batteries and to the switch and I ran two wires, one negative and positive, up through the base. This will travel up through Darth Maul to give power to his lightsaber. Also here is that little disc that I saved from earlier. It will sit right in the middle and help reflect light up through the base. I'm not used to working with models this large, so having a path that was so easy for the wires to travel up through was super convenient. It was also nice because he was assembled with screws, so I didn't have to worry about messing up, because if I did, I could just take them apart and do it again. I wish they were all this easy. The 
holes on the lightsaber were a little big, so I reduced the size using some metal tubing. I then straightened out some copper wire. This will act as the positive lead that'll run to either end of the lightsaber. I soldered the positive end of both of the LEDs to the copper wire after I had cut it to the right length. A lot of people have asked about these little cocktail straws that I use to diffuse the light. They are the diamond cocktail straws. They come in a 170 count box. I'll put a link to those in the description. Then ran a wire to both of the negative ends of the LEDs. Made sure to stick that out quite a bit so it wasn't close to touching the positive side. Both of my connections were clearly visible. It's just a matter of soldering those up and hiding all the wires inside the arm. I then used a transparent red which I airbrushed onto the cocktail straws. I also dry brushed some gray over the edges of his clothing and I touched up the paint on his face. The last thing to do was to paint the little Star Wars logo black. I called it good. That is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to all of my patrons. Really appreciate you guys very much. Have an awesome week, everyone. I will see you next time.